Today we are going to hide our patient's jowls. Her jowls are really, really tiny, but we, she doesn't care for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of filler right in front of them to help give her jawline a nice straight mm, look. But let's just wipe right here. Can you turn to me a little? There you go. That's small. And we'll go right in this little spot. One, two, three. Perfect. And people never think about filler for the jawline, but I think filler in the jawline is beautiful. Because you could do a lot of things with it. You can put it up here to, yeah, that's perfect, to straighten. You can put it, see how that, what do you think of that? Yeah, you can put it back here and you can pull up. I mean, there's so many things you can do for jawline filler. You could put it in the chin. Our patient has a perfect chin, but you could put it in the chin if you have a recessed chin um, to help make that chin look more natural and less recessed. Now go for the nice that other side for me. That one. Yep, right over there. So we're going to go to the other side now. She does not need barely any, but it just gives her jawline that extra beautiful straight look to it. Alright. Go right in here. And one, two, three. Are different types of filler that you can use for this area. But we are choosing ours today based on our patient's desires. Let's see. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks pretty darn good. Maybe one more spot, just a little further back. Right there. One, two, three. Hi. You okay here? Mm -hmm. A little squishy squish. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that looks pretty great. So again, you can use this type of filler for the chin, mandibular angle, the entire jawline. You can also use it in the cheeks. Uh, it will. Um, it is a beautiful product, and all these fillers are very natural. They're typically made of hyaluronic acid or calcium hydroxyapatite things that your body will break will have naturally and will break down naturally. So there's no worries about allergic, and allergic reactions or anything like that.